record. And I want to see where all my tabs are. I want to see where everything else. Well, that's because you're missing the uh, the ruler, right? Well, guess what? Ruler's right over here. If you click on the ruler, bada bing, bada boom, here's the ruler. And here's where you can set all your tabs. And we'll talk about how to do that in another video. If you want to hide the ruler, just simply click on it again, and the ruler pops. It just depends on how big your monitors and screens are. We're obviously showing you an 800 by 600 view of this uh, due to backwards compatibility for many people wanting to view this. But if you have huge big screens, you can have all the ribbons open and the you know put the view, the ruler up there. You can slap anything you want, and you're going to be good to go. So this is a look, and you know just to kind of show you a little bit about the workspace. Now, believe it or not, there is one more really cool feature we want to show you. Now, if I just go ahead and type in some text, the beginning of the Word 2007 series. So I just type some text right here into my workspace area. Now you can see obviously if I wanted to come up here I can use Calibri and, and you know change the fonts and, and do things but watch what happens when I highlight uh, this. We'll talk about it a little bit later on but if I roll my mouse over this highlighted you'll see a little ghosted image in the background there. Well, that is the mini toolbar that shows up whenever you roll over something. Um, you'll see that it kind of ghosts out in the background and says, like, hey, do you want to see it? And then you just simply come up here and, you know, roll over it, and now it's available. So I can go ahead and change fonts and, you know, uh, do a, a few different things over here. So this is all right here, and this is called the mini toolbar. If you want to change the views of how you see the page, down here below, you can change from print layout to full screen reading. So if I do that, it actually puts it all the way across <laughs> the full screen that I have. My monitor is just a little bit bigger. You can also click on the web layout, which will give you the web uh, look and feel. And so when you want to do that, you can do that. And uh, whether it's an outline form, you can do that. And it'll start it off as an outline. You'll also notice that whenever I change my view up here, look what happened my ribbon changed and now I got another uh, different tab which has a little bit of uh, different buttons and menu options that deals with outlining so it's very context sensitive so we call them context sensitive tabs whenever you click on something this tab outlining you notice um, before it was home and all the other things that you saw outlining was nowhere to be seen well as soon as I went to outline view mode it automatically went and you can even look at draft mode when you go to draft mode it it kind of gives you that uh, you know look and feel of the draft mode things like that so we'll go back to print preview which kind of shows you the whole page you can see outside the margins and what the page is going to look like and again now my tabs have changed the other thing that will happen remember we talked about tabs is let's say that I decide I want to insert a, a table which we can see right here so if I click on insert table and we'll show you about tables and let's say I add just a couple of things here all of a sudden the context uh, tabs show up my table tools here's design and here's layout and so anytime you do something that requires some extra bells and whistles that you can utilize guess what the context sensitive or the context tabs are going to show up right here and you're going to be ready to go and start utilizing those tools. So there's a nice brief introduction to your workspace and where the, the buttons and the tabs and what the ribbon looks like and what the quick access toolbar is, where your, your office button is. And this is going to help us as we go through the rest of our series, all our videos, and learn how to do formatting and how to create master documents and drafts and printing and all those cool things. Guess what? Now you know where those buttons are going to be located. I think we can all breathe a quick sigh of relief that, you know, even though it's very different, Office 2007, and in particular here, Word 2007, is very powerful, and all of those common things that we do are going to be available to us on the Office ribbon, which is, again, fully customizable, and we can do that. We also saw that the File menu, Edit, tool all that has kind of disappeared and is now over there in the office button that's where we're gonna save our files we're going to send them as email we're gonna get ready to publish them that's all done under the office button and then the quick access toolbar comes by default with just a couple of things the save button the undo the repeat or redo but you can add your favorite buttons whatever you use on a daily consistent maybe minute by minute basis up on that quick access toolbar and then boom 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 you're firing them off 
just as quickly as possible. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Microsoft Word 2007 Creating and Viewing Documents. Well, how do you get started? Where do you start off on your journey to create that perfect resume, that perfect fax cover sheet or report? Well, you're going to want to utilize the power of your document templates. Plus, when you're editing, there might be something you might need to do to change the way you view the world and view your document. We hope to get you started on the right foot by creating a new document. Now we can do that blank templates. We can create all kinds of templates that are downloadable or installed with your Office 2007. We'll look at that. You can even change the defaults on that blank document that you start off with. We'll show you how to do that. How do you view your document when you're creating it? Are you going to look at it in print view? Maybe you want to upload it to the web. So you want to look at it in web view? We'll show you that. And sometimes you just want to be in two places at one time. Well, guess what? We're going to show you a little feature called split view that will really help you with that. So if we're going to create a brand new document, we of course have to open up our Microsoft Word 2007. So we click Start, Microsoft Office Word 2007. It pops open, and now what we see is a blank new document. Now, anytime you use the word document, all we're talking about is anything that you are going to create with Word. So right now it's going to have the name document1. It's just a nice generic name. And there are going to be certain default settings that are set up with your blank document. And so these are just things that we can start typing on. In other words, I can say this is a new document I am creating. So I'm just typing some text and you know setting up and getting ready to go and and this is exactly how if I just wanted a blank canvas, a blank sheet of paper to create my uh, whether it's an invoice or whether it's a uh, report or an announcement or anything that I want to do, press release, I'm gonna maybe start from scratch and just start typing and then I can start editing the text, I can start doing the things I want. But you know sometimes you don't have time to sit here and start formatting and creating things from scratch and doing things like that so instead you might want to use something like a template which is that special kind of file that has the starting point for creating all these kind of things like flyers and things like that so newsletters calendars resumes anything that have already been developed you can instead of having to start from scratch and doing all the formatting you merely come up to the office button because remember the office button is where we have the new and so right now I click on new and it opens up our new document dialog box and from here is where we can utilize any of the templates and documents that we have used recently like uh, the new blog post just clicking on it to see what the new blog post is we have a blank document which is those that normal template that we have we also have installed templates if I click on the installed templates these are ones that came with your office 2007 disks so when you installed remember it you know one of the options that we looked at when we installed office was do you want to add all these templates and things well yeah we did so here we can see we have all different kinds of uh, things including uh, the blog post letters with the equity look to it equity merged fax fax if we scroll down we can see um, the different styles for faxes and letters and reports and uh, we can choose any one of these now if you choose one of them like if we choose the urban fax what we're going to do with this template is you are going to have pre-built styles color schemes fonts things like that that are going to be included now the installed templates we saw right here we also have my templates when we click on my templates these are any templates that we have saved that we've created so or we've even maybe we've even downloaded earlier from Microsoft or from somebody else and then all we do is select any one of these that have been saved to the my templates area so let's cancel that we also of course have new from existing if I use new from existing that means that I'm going to go ahead and use an existing document that has already been uh, created. In other words, it's kind of like recycling. Maybe I used a letter or something like that. If I use new from existing, I can go out and find maybe I have a, a profit and loss statement that I want to use or, or something else like that. And then I create a new document based upon the settings that are on that particular document. So that's utilizing the new from existing. Now, however, 
as good as all these templates are and great uh, check this out Microsoft Office Online because of the community that's there has all kinds of templates that you can get from Microsoft and and we're talking some really cool stuff I mean we're talking agendas award certificates brochures I mean you know your mileage may vary on what you're looking for but just about anything you can think of that most people want to use in Word think about it there are all these people out there ha that have been working with Word and and utilizing Office 2007 and even 2003 because remember you can use um, older documents and templates even here in 2007 so you can let's say we wanted to uh, get a new uh, uh, a resume put together so when I click on resumes notice how it said it went out to office online and then it said well what kind of resumes are you looking for basic job specific or situation specific let's go job specific you click on job specific and it says oh look here's a secretary receptionist resume here's a bookkeeper resume here's a forklift driver warehouse worker resume and you can choose any one of these and they become part of your uh, or they become the the basis or the foundation of which you can build yours obviously you're gonna change your uh, computer technician resume this one in fact if we go ahead and click on it it's gonna go ahead and say alright this is good and we we'll click on download now one thing you do need to realize the only way that you're able to access these online templates is if you have registered your copy of Office 2007. This is kind of just a little another little way that Microsoft wants to make sure that you're using an authorized copy. So you do have to register it before Office Online will allow you to download these particular temp templates. So, you know, of course we want you to do that and that's what we support here at CBT Nuggets. So we of course have gone ahead and registered so I click download and it goes through and it says alright they're only available to the customers running genuine Microsoft Office and it's just telling you we're gonna validate to make sure that you have a valid copy so I'm like just like what I said I'm gonna go ahead and say don't you don't need to show this message every time I download something so we click continue it goes ahead and it validates and look at this it brings up a new instance of Word document 2 and look at this it shows you all the pre-built things that you can walk through the objectives your profile your employment well obviously I don't think I've been working for the United States Postal Service in Forest Park Illinois or the uh, Aid Datum Corporation or Woodgrove Bank or these things and you know these I might not have familiarity with MS DOS actually I do but uh, you know that's beyond the point I, these now can be customized but the fonts that are used uh, the different heading types that you have um, are all you know in front of us right here we can utilize these and so I can now go ahead and use this template to create a new document now if I really like this template and I want to keep it and use it as part of my templates I can come up here and click on the office button save as and I can now save it as a word template then I can use this for some of my other documents so when I click on this it's gonna ask me okay what do you want to call this um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is a uh, computer resume template it will say do you want to maintain compatibility with Word 97 2003 absolutely because I might want to you know send this template off to somebody else I go ahead and click save and now this template is now uh, saved and installed upon my computer and I have access to it so let's go ahead and uh, close this and you notice it didn't ask me hey do you want to save any changes well remember I just saved it as a template if I had made changes and I wanted to save it as a document I could then of course just click the save button same thing up here I would have just clicked the save and would have been able to do that notice it tells me here's my computer resume document document uh, or a computer resume template that I have which is now one of the templates I have available to me as well so this is just a way for us to use these documents now here's a little tip just something that's kind of interesting notice anytime I click the uh, click here and I click new and I let's say I use the blank document when I create this blank document believe it or not this is a template this template is called normal dot dot uh, DOT is the document template uh, file format and there are certain default settings that are on there now 
you'll see that what that means is my body text is going to be Calibri. I have certain type of 